Hey, Russ here. Welcome back to my shop. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, ideas for your shop. Um, I've done a little over 100 videos now, and if you haven't noticed, I tend to all of a sudden come up with an idea that I want to get out there and and show everybody what I did. But whether I'm showing the idea or I'm just actually using it, it's coming up with these ideas sometimes is where the challenge is. And I wanted to share with you one of the ways that I come up with new ideas all the time. And what it has to do with is all the older wood magazines that are out there now. And I'll pick one out in particular, Shop Notes. Uh, they have stopped making their Shop Notes. It was a great magazine. I was disappointed when they stopped. But that's okay too. Just life moves on. But the thing was is that... <clears throat> I actually have not only the hard copy of all of those, I have those on DVD. And so I have PDF files of all of those um, magazines. And that's actually very useful. I keep them on my computer. And I, whenever I go out somewhere uh, and you have a wait in the waiting room, whether it's a haircut or, or a doctor's appointment or whatever, there's a lot of times when I maybe have to wait for something. Well, I grab, the, I grab my computer, I open it up, and I grab one of the magazines, and it doesn't matter which one. I got 138 to choose from, and I start reading through it. And it's amazing how many times that I have read those magazines, and I'll still start looking through one of those magazines... And I'll look at an article and I'll go, that's different than it was last time I read it. How did that change? Or, I don't even remember that being there before. That's a good idea. And that's where a lot of my ideas that I do, that's where they come from, is that I've read it and I've reread it. It's amazing how many times you'll read through something and you'll forget a lot of what you read. Go back and read it the second time or a third time, a period of time later, and all of a sudden, you're reading something new again still. And so... A lot of the ideas that you see from me, they actually are, they are created in my mind from reading those types of things and even rereading. So having those and rereading them over and over again sometimes is not a bad thing. You should try it. Um, if you have a bunch of older magazines, I never threw my magazines away. Back when I first started collecting those, computers weren't even around, quite honestly. And so... Uh, having them all on a DVD is a wonderful way of doing it with my laptop computer or with my tablet. Uh, but uh, I still have all those regular hard copy magazines for a lot of these different uh, magazines that are out there. And they're actually very useful. And I read through those all the time. When I have a few minutes to read, most likely that's what I'm reading. I try to get the new ones as I can. But what really is handy is to have them all on my computer so that I can actually just read them at will and put it away and grab another one without even thinking about it. So having them at your fingertips is really a great idea and you can be amazed at how many new ideas you can come up with by reading one of those older magazines twice, three, four times and not in a row. You read it and then six months later, a year later, all of a sudden you read it again and you go, ah, that is different. Anyway, this quick tip I just wanted to share with you about where a lot of my ideas come from. It comes from the magazines, and a lot of the ideas come from the older magazines. So, uh, YouTube is a good, fun thing to watch, and I get a lot of good ideas from it. But actually, I get a lot of good ideas, even from things that I've seen and read before. And it's amazing how that does work. And I don't think that my mind is the only one that does that. If you don't believe it, do it. Just grab some magazines that you had for a long time and read through them and get a 50 or 100 of them, let's say, and just start reading through them one at a time. When you get done, start over and read through them again. And you'd be amazed at how many times you'll go, I don't remember that being in there. That's a good idea. And so you'll get a lot of good ideas from old ideas, believe it or not. And it's amazing how that works. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you about how to get some new ideas for your shop. So anyway, that's enough about Rambling Russ. I wanted to share with you this particular thought and about new ideas and how to come up with them for your shop if you want to. And that goes for anything. If you wanted to make new, new products and you get a magazine and you see a new idea how to make something and you go, oh, that's a great little item. I'd like to make those. 
even though you read that magazine three times, all of a sudden you look at it and now you see it and it now strikes a tone with you and you want and you end up making that even though you didn't do it the first time you saw it. So give it a try. Don't throw those things away. And you really, if you get a chance, uh, I usually buy mine now. I try to buy the collections and I try to buy them on a DVD and get them in a uh, PDF format so that they're very compatible with any computer uh, that I want to use it on, whether it's a little book or a little tablet. And most of those all will read uh, PDF files. So it's easy enough to get them to a place where you can read them. But that's what you should have. They're a great resource for coming up with ideas for your shop. So anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, please say so. If you have any comments, leave them below. I do read them all, and I try to answer them. Uh, most importantly, they'll come back again, because I think I'm going to sit down and read a few more magazines, so I'm sure I'm going to have lots more to come about, out with. We're nowhere near done. I want to thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you again very soon.